What's up guys? This is an impromptu video. As you can tell, not my usual setting. I'm in a hotel room right now in Savannah, Georgia. Um, more on that later. But uh, by the way, if you hear running water, there's a fountain outside. I haven't made this a, a, a more professional video with background music like I typically do. This is just like a last minute stream of consciousness video. Um, but I just wanted to to talk about the election with you guys and see how you guys are feeling and what, and what your thoughts are so far. Um, last night I stayed up really late and at two in the morning right before I went to bed I checked the numbers again and I was stunned by how close Trump and Biden were and still are. Um, I really thought this would be a landslide election. I just thought that after the past four years, no matter who voted for Trump, no matter who typically leans Republican, I feel like we've all seen so much, we've all learned a lot. It's just been an administration riddled with conflict, tension, scandal, and I, I think poor character. And I'm just shocked that after everything that's happened over the last few years, especially this past year, between Black Lives Matter, between the COVID handling on a government level, on a national level. Um, I'm shocked that at the time of this video, over 60 million people still have chosen to support Trump and back Trump. I'm completely shocked. That's one out of about every six Americans, one out of every six or every five, and that's just general American population, since there's about 300 million Americans, but a lot of people can't vote, right? Anybody under 18 automatically can't vote. So it's really a much higher percentage than, I mean, if we look at just people who voted, almost 50% at the time of this video of people who voted, voted for Trump. And I really feel like this election is now, it's not even about politics anymore. Um, I'm, I don't know if you guys hear that, it's a church bell. I can't believe, politics aside, after everything that's happened over the past four years, on a societal level, on a national level, on, an, uh, on, a, on a psychological level, on an emotional level, I, I can't understand how this many people would still back Donald Trump and his administration. Again, politics aside, does, I don't care if you're a Republican, Democrat, just on a human level, of standing up for values, which is ironic because a lot of people who I think tend to vote Republican always talk about values. I'm like, where are the values here? How can you stand by somebody like this? And I'm not even mad at the people who have voted for, for Trump. I'm not even mad at Trump. I, I, I think the Trump bashing has been useless and unproductive. There are people like Donald Trump everywhere in society, at every company. But to have this many people supportive of someone who represents what he represents, that is what I'm shocked by. And I woke up today just like sad, just disappointed that so many people seemingly, this is the only way I can perceive this, lack empathy and and compassion for other people in society. To me, it seems very clear that a vote for Trump is a vote, it, it's like a, a fuck you vote towards any person of color, towards any woman who's ever been abused, been raped, been sexually assaulted, been harassed at work, been disrespected for being a woman. It's a vote against every immigrant, especially Immigrants who have come here under complicated circumstances, under difficult circumstances, to vote against, well, I already said people of color, I'm going to say Latinos in this country. I don't understand it. I don't understand, and I, and I really want to understand it. I'm not angry. I, I'm disappointed and disheartened, and I don't get it. I'm confused, and I, I mean, I'm in Savannah, Georgia right now, the day before Election Day. I saw, I mean, you see Biden flags here and there, you see Trump flags here and there, but I saw, I was on like the main avenue here, 
and there was a, a fleet of Trump supporting cars, like back to back, like six or seven of them honking, honking, Trump flags, waving American flags. And I wish I could talk to these Trump supporters and really understand. I genuinely want to understand where they're coming from because I, I don't get it. I mean, I'm, of course, there's there's a spectrum. You know, there's some people who love everything he says. There's some people who aren't a fan of him, but they will always vote Republican. There's some people who simply voted for Trump as an anti-vote, you know, a vote against Biden, against Democrats, against the establishment. And I, I can understand that. What I can't understand is overlooking all the negative aspects of what have what has come with this administration, the Trump administration. And to be honest, when I was voting for Biden, it wasn't like a, yes, I love Biden. Like, I think he was the lesser of two evils. Um, I don't think he was a perfect candidate. I don't think he's going to be an amazing president if he wins. But it was a case of lesser of two evils for me. And I can understand that for a lot of Republicans, it, they feel the same way, but on the other side of the token, like to them, voting for Trump was the lesser of two evils. Um... Again, what I can't get over, of course, you know, we all knew Trump still has a very hardcore support base. I guess I'm just shocked by the numbers, the sheer numbers of it. It's very isolating, uh, not just as a gay person, not just as an immigrant myself, not just as a mixed person from mixed a mixed background myself, but just as a person living in America, just as a citizen, a person who has empathy, a person who likes to think, who would like to think that he has compassion for other people and a, a worldview. When I was voting, I was thinking about society and, and what I would like to see for the world, not just what I want to see for myself or for my own bank account or for my own life. As somebody who thinks that way, and as I said, as somebody who also, in addition to that, comes from the background that I come from, it's very isolating to think that this many people seemingly have a disregard for others around them, especially people, people who don't look like them, who don't sound like them, who don't talk like them, who don't live in their neighborhood maybe, and in some cases who literally are still living next door to them. How do you not take that into account? So I'm just stunned right now. We're, we're going to see what happens, but I feel like even if Biden wins, I'm, I'm so disheartened that so many people would be at odds. Right? Like I was just telling a friend before this video, I was thinking the fact that it's this neck to neck is disturbing because no matter who wins, almost 50% of those who voted will be upset. That's a huge number. Like either way, an election ideally should be a landslide election, right? You, you shouldn't be in a situation where half of the people voting are going to be really upset by the odds. Either way. So... It's just a representation of where I think the U.S. is. It really is like a culture war, in a sense. Um, it's it's disturbing. Either way, at this point, um, whoever wins, I, I think it's it's like, I can't believe we're, that the nation is this divided. It's shocking to me that in the same place, in the same country, in the same nation, and we speak the same language, we all have access to social media. We all have access to the same news, but of course you, you pick and choose and you're selective about what you expose yourself to. But it's shocking to me that despite all that and despite the fact that we can all access the same resources and the same information, that people could be could come from such different frameworks of, of thinking when it comes to policy, when it comes to what they think is best for the nation, for themselves, for their families, for the next generation, for their neighbors. So anyway, curious to see what you guys think. Um, if any of you are Trump voters, I'm genuinely curious what made you vote for him? Like, after everything that's happened, what still has you convinced that he's the right fit or the better fit? In 2016, I think so many of us were shocked that he won. I was shocked. But after the past four years, I, I can understand more where people were coming from. Um, now, I don't understand how somebody could vote for him again, or vote for him for the first time in 2020. Because now we know what a Trump administration looks like. Now we know really 
how the actions back up the words. Back then, I think for a lot of people, it was like, oh, he's different. He's new. Even though I, I, I don't think you should vote. I, I don't think people should vote for anything other than policy. Um, but to me, there were so many signs then that it would end up being this kind of administration. So for somebody to still not see that, I, I'm confused as to how we are, we've ended in such a different place mentally. Let's see what happens.